On September 29, 2020, Kuwait Sheikh Sabah passed away after 14 years on the throne. As an internationally respected Arab diplomat who spent four decades serving as Kuwait's foreign minister before becoming a mir in 2006, Sheikh Sabah was an architect of his country's foreign policy. Soon after the former monarch died, Sheikh Nawaf was sworn in as Kuwait's 16th ruler of the Al Sabah dynasty. Although Sheikh Nawaf may have minor or stylistic differences in foreign policy, no fundamental changes can be expected according to Gulf experts. As a balancer in the Middle East, Sheikh Sabah prevented Kuwait from aligning with one camp against another even when the region became increasingly polarised. After the Arab Spring protests erupted in 2011, the Kuwaitis never gave outright support to Arab revolutionaries, but Sheikh Sabah never put his country into the counter-revolutionary bloc led by Riyadh and Abu Dhabi. Regarding Iran, Kuwait has been able to engage the Islamic Republic pragmatically and establish cordial ties with Tehran, though this has not come at the expense of Kuwait's historic alliance with Saudi Arabia. The balanced and mature foreign policy agenda of Sheikh Sabah remains popular among Kuwaiti citizens. Since Kuwait is a semi-democracy with a real civil society, the Kuwaiti leadership must take public opinion seriously when making foreign policy decisions. Moreover, as the country struggles with COVID-19, plus a growing deficit and a liquidity squeeze, Sheikh Nawaf will most likely be more focused on domestic challenges with less attention paid to regional issues. Ultimately, it appears unlikely that the transition to the new emir's rule will result in Kuwait significantly changing its position in relation to Iran, Israel, the GCC crisis, Yemen's conflict or Libya.